welcome back to Seriously Play YouTube channel. I'm Shin. Today, we are going to talk about Cyber Jaya. Let's learn a little bit about Cyber Jaya. Cyber Jaya was the brainchild of Toon Dr. Mahadev, who was the Prime Minister then. It was developed in 17th of May 1997, which this visionary man had the idea to convert this place as the Silicon Valley of Malaysia. Now, let's learn about the geography of this place. From the map, you could see it's located at 26 km down south of Kuala Lumpur city centre and it's 20 km from the airport of KLIA. The whole place itself is spreading across 17,000 acres that hosts 140,000 people living in Cyberjaya. To host multimedia industry, this is the only place in Malaysia that has intensive and extensive fiber optics cabling around this area that you cannot get anywhere else except in Cyberjaya. Next, let's talk about tech companies in Cyberjaya. This place in Cyberjaya is actually meant to do a futuristic science park that house a lot of tech companies here in Malaysia. It's the purpose to attract future companies with technology-based company for the Multimedia Super Corridor or also known as MSC for them to enjoy the tax benefit of setting up the operations here. Some famous companies here like for example Dell, their DHL, Wipro, NTT and many others here are setting up their operation here in Malaysia, Cyberjaya especially. There are over 500 companies being granted a MSC status until now and is actually growing rapidly in this arena in Cyberjaya. To cater for talent development for the technology companies, Multimedia University was set up on 8 July 1999 for that purpose. It is also a learning and research centre for the MSc. There are renowned universities here in Cyberjaya, namely Lim Kowin University, University of Cyberjaya, Kirby International College, just to name a few. Besides tertiary education, international school and also private school are set up here to cater for the primary and secondary education. Here where I'm standing is a 400 acre Cyberjaya Lake Garden, which is allow you to actually explore this beautiful scenic place. Mmm, you can smell the fresh air over here and you can see the greens and also fauna and fauna over here. For Cyberjaya, this is the best place for you to take a beautiful photo of the Putrajaya which is just next door. Behind me, you will actually notice there are many beautiful buildings here which is a very significant of Putrajaya. Here is the best place for our photography enthusiasts to come here to take pictures of Putrajaya. Many of you do not know, in 2007, this lake garden itself hosted the biggest ever fishing competition during the 50th Merdeka Carnival. A lot of anglers just come here to enjoy fishing and also enjoy the prizes from the competition. If you ever come to Cyberjaya next time, you must come to this place because it's a place for recreation, not just for yourself, for photography or anything including family recreation. This is the best place I would recommend. And most importantly, it's free. If you are into a special architecture, I highly recommend this mosque, the Masjid Raja Haji Fisabilila Mosque. This mosque is situated on the 40.4 acre land that can house any time during the prayers for 8,300 people. This mosque is named after the Bugis warrior Kam Crown Priest of Penyangga Island of Indonesia. This is the first mosque in Malaysia that has been awarded a platinum for the Green Building Index because it has a solar panel to generate electricity and a natural glass dome that actually give in natural light to light up the interior of this mosque. At the end of the day, Cyberjaya is a beautiful place for you to enjoy cycling around the park with the bicycle available and of course, sipping with the ice cream that is waiting for you by the ice cream man counter. Cyberjaya is a beautiful place. You must come to visit. That ends our five essential things you need to know about Cyberjaya. And please do like and subscribe to our channel. Don't take life seriously. Have fun and play. And I'm out. Bye.